This is AccuSizer software training on creating protocols when performing USP 788 tests. These are the three tabs used to create the protocol, instrument, channel slash physical properties, and report. We'll come up here and click on protocol. And on the first tab, we first will adjust the measurement volume to 5 mL per sample. This particular sensor is calibrated at 30 mL per minute. We'll start measuring at 0.5 or 0.56. That requires we work in summation mode. Extinction mode is good for about 2 microns and above. The official protocol requires running four measurements. We discard the first and then do the average of the second through the fourth. We'll make a tear volume of 0.5 mL. We don't need an air gap or a delay. We won't flush before each replicate. That's something we could do if we wanted to clean the system in between each run. I will pull the same tear volume before each replicate. If we wanted to work with very low measurements, we would need to click here. For instance, if we wanted to measure down at 250 microliters, if we were working under the protocol USP 787, to preserve the sample would mean to pull the sample up from the beaker through the sensor for measurement and then back into the same beaker. But instead, since we don't check that, we will pull the sample for measurement and then push it out to waste. We could choose to measure with a stir bar, but if we didn't have a stir bar or wanted to work at very small volumes, we could do what we call push-pull mixing, where we pull the sample up and push it back into the same beaker before the measurement, but we will leave that at none. I'm working in summation so that we can measure down to 0.5 microns. I'm not going to do a background, an automatic background test, so I just choose background time and zero seconds, or I could choose to flush to a given concentration, for instance, till I'm below 100 particles per ml. But since I'm not doing a background test, I'm just going to set this time and zero, then there will be no background test before the measurement. Now we move over to the second tab. Here I'm going to reduce, we have a total of 1,024 size channels in this counter but I'm going to reduce that to 64. I don't need that many channels. And down here, if we're going to do USP 788 testing, if I'm dealing with small volume parentals, I want to enter the volume per container of the vials I'm combining. Maybe there are five mLs, and we must combine at least 10 containers, which would give us a total volume of 50 mLs. Then on the report tab, I may choose to automatically run the USP 788 report at the end of the measurement. So what I do is I click on auto run reports, come down here to multi sample report, choose USP 788 SVI here, and you'll see the container information required. We've already entered that. We know there's four replicates, but what we want to do is deselect the first. Then it will pull the first, but not include that in the calculations. So we have selected replicate two, three, and four. And now we would automatically, if I clicked here on running the report, now it will automatically run the USP SVI report at the end of the measurements. And finally, I need to give this a name, which we will call USP 788 SVI. We will save this protocol. And now we have a protocol that will automatically run USP 788 and generate a report at the end of the measurement.